Aloha, this is Heidi at Catch Your Quest. In this video, I'm going to show you what I pack in my carry-on bag for flying with a one-year-old toddler and a six-year-old kid. This bag holds items for all members of our family of four on travel days. It's just our travel essentials that we want to have with us on the airplane and while we're in transit. We'll also be checking in suitcases as well. Show Quest, a full time traveling family currently in Vietnam. Please subscribe for packing tips and travel inspiration. I have all of our items packed in this Logan and Lenora Weekender. I love this bag for traveling with kids. Logan and Lenora also makes a smaller bag that's called their Day Tripper. And that one is dimensioned to be a personal item, but this one qualifies as a carry-on item. Despite it being a carry-on, I've always been able to fit it under the seat in front of me on the airplane. If I was sitting all the way over on the aisle seat, then it might be a little too small to fit this under. But I like that since it's a soft, squishy bag, if I take out a couple items when we get on the plane, it makes it easier to put it under the seat in front of me. Because I want all these items easy to access. In addition to this carry-on bag, I'll also have with me my small PackSafe backpack, which counts as my personal item. I'll link up above my review of this bag. I also have my Wanderers Travel Co. Premium Leather Double Zip Clutch. This is the Venetian Grande, and I have items in here like my cell phone, my wallet, our passports, one extra change of clothes for my daughter, if I wanted to, to reduce the number of bags, I can go ahead and put this inside my carry-on. This is how we roll going to the airport. Carry-on. So let's get to it and see how I pack my carry-on bag for flying with two kids. I like to keep the number of items we bring with us on the airplane minimal, so we mostly have items for eating and drinking and items to keep us warm. First of all, I keep this outer pocket empty until right before we leave. Each of my kids has a special blanket that they like to sleep with. And so right before we head to the airport in the morning, I'll just slip their blankets into there. It's a nice waterproof pocket. It's always nice to have somewhere in your luggage or your bags to put last minute items that you'll need to pack right on your way out the door. The rest of these things can all be packed the night before. What makes this bag so awesome are these generous water bottle pockets here. I'll carry a water bottle for my older, my son, and also one with a straw for my younger, my toddler, my daughter. And since they're kids, they can get away with bringing liquids through security at the airport. I just let them know that this water is for my children, and then sometimes they'll test it. If you're flying within the USA, then TSA rules restrict the amount of liquids you can bring on the airplane in a carry-on. However, there is an exemption for infant and child nourishment. Formula, breast milk, and juice for infants or toddlers are permitted in reasonable quantities through the security checkpoint. Remove these items from your carry-on bag to be screened separately from the rest of your belongings. You may also bring gel or liquid-filled teethers, canned, jarred, and processed baby food in carry-on baggage. These items may be subject to additional screening. I love the size of these pockets. Just to give you an idea, this is a 32 ounce tumbler from Hydro Flask, and I can fit that into that water bottle pocket. So that is a really big pocket there. I don't personally usually bring our tumblers on the airplane, but if you do have something this large, you can fit it in the pocket there. In the middle here, this could either be a pocket or you just unzip it and it's a trolley sleeve. So when we go to the airport, I can slide this down onto the handle of my suitcase until we get to where we check in our luggage. At the beginning of this trip, we were using a Logan and Lenora beach bag, but I didn't like that it didn't zip closed on top. So this one, we can zip it shut. And then here's all the items that we have inside. First of all, this is my toddler's meal kit. It's packed in a Logan Lenora convertible clutch. You could put either a short strap or a longer shoulder strap onto this, but since I just have her meal items, I don't put any strap. Inside here, we keep an easy peasy tiny bowl, an easy peasy tiny cup, and an easy peasy tiny spoon. And those are great when we're traveling. 
We may or may not use it on the airplane itself, but when we're going out to eat during our travels, it's so nice to have a kid size bowl along. I also have washcloth for her and a reusable stainless steel straw, which sometimes my older child likes to use. And I heard that Easy Peasy is releasing a slightly larger version of this cup, an Easy Peasy mini cup, and a slightly larger spoon, an Easy Peasy mini spoon. So I'll leave a link to those in the description box below. Next up is the most important item in this bag, our snack bag. This is how we keep our kids happy while traveling. It keeps them from getting overly hungry, and also it's just entertainment to have a lot of different little snacks along with us. Our family doesn't eat gluten, and so a lot of times the snacks that are provided on an airplane or even the meals have a lot of gluten in them. So we pack a full snack bag. I have some more cloth napkins in here. We have some raisins that we got when we went to the Zero Waste grocery store here in Saigon, Vietnam. We like to bring these Fisherman's Friends original cough drops just in case anybody gets a sore throat on the trip. We also have some goji berries. And we're going to need to add a few more snacks in here. Because like I said, we like to bring plenty of snacks. These snacks will take us from the taxi ride to the airport. While we're at the airport waiting for a plane, entertainment on the plane, taxi ride to where we're staying again, and then as soon as we check in. So I like to bring a lot of snacks. And these are packed in a So Young linen cooler bag. So sometimes I will put an ice pack in here as well if we have anything like yogurt that needs to stay a bit cool. Next, I have a Logan and Lenora clutch. This is their older version. And in here I have packed an extra outfit for each of my children. At the beginning of our trip, our daughter was 13 months old and she was still in diapers. Now she's already 20 months old. So at the beginning I was using this clutch to put either a few disposable diapers or two cloth diapers in. And I was also bringing this super thin Logan and Lenora change pad. So having a nice small diaper clutch like this is great for when you're going to the airport plain bathroom to change your baby because that way you don't have to bring a whole big diaper bag. I would pack extra diapers in my backpack but have a small clutch like this just for using at the airport bathroom or on the airplane bathroom. Now this is a spare outfit for each of my kids in here and since it's a wet dry bag I have the clean items in the outer pocket and if anybody were to get their outfit soiled or wet I could move it into this waterproof pocket. That's why wet dry bags are awesome for travel because you can have one spot for your clean dry items and then you have another spot ready to go, a waterproof pocket for anything that's wet. Next right here, I have a Woombi Airwrap organic cotton mesh blanket for my daughter. Like I said, I also pack my kids special blankets in this outside pocket, but I prefer not to get germs on those on the airplane. So I bring another blanket for her and then sometimes they'll give us blankets on the airplane as well, but it really depends on the airline. So I prefer she use this one on the airplane and keep her special blanket clean inside. But if it was really cold flight or maybe we got one blanket wet, it's nice that we have an extra one just in case. Up next is our bag of socks. So I have one pair of socks for each member of the family. My daughter and I like to wear the long knee-high ones to keep us warm. I have a pair of smart wool knee-high socks that really help keep me warm under my skirt on the airplane. Our family is almost always traveling from hot weather to hot weather again, so we're not wearing things like socks, sweaters, jackets when we first arrive at the airport. But then on the airplane, it can get really cold depending on how strong they have the air conditioning on. So we like to have items to wear just on the airplane to keep us warm. Which brings us to our next item. Each family member has a sweater, a sweater for my son. We like to have hoodie versions to keep our ears covered. That's nice if the air conditioning is blowing on you on the airplane. My daughters. My husband has a packed organic cotton hoodie. And I have an icebreaker merino wool hoodie. And this one's super long, so it keeps me really warm. Down at the bottom of the bag, I have just one item of entertainment for my daughter. This is an Indestructibles book. It's really thin, lightweight. She's not going to rip the pages. She really likes these and they're great for travel. I personally am very minimal when it comes to toys. I don't pack a lot of toys for my kids because they find ways to entertain themselves. My daughter has spent an hour just playing with the safety information card on the airplane. She's also entertained herself twisting on a water bottle lid for an hour on a flight. 
my son will sometimes watch the in-flight movies or his dad might download and put some movies on a laptop for him. But basically, I tried with both of my kids to take the advice that I've seen a lot of people share of pack all these toys for your kid. And especially with my son when he was younger, he just didn't play with them on the airplane. And so it seemed like such a waste to be bringing all these toys, all this extra weight onto the plane if he wasn't gonna play with it anyways. So we keep it really minimal. For my toddler, I'll just have this one book with us just in case she starts getting a little out of control, the snacks aren't working, she gets tired of the magazines on the plane. We have this. And she also carries her doll onto the airplane with her. The inside of this bag is all waterproof. So it's really awesome if you use this as a carry-on bag when you get to your destination. You could also use it as a pool bag or a beach bag. There's a waterproof pocket inside of the back here. And this is an optional item I have here. This bag is a Logan Lenora portfolio. And inside it, I have our Potet Plus Travel Potty. So if you have a child who's recently potty trained, it can be nice to bring a potty along with you. This can be used as a seat reducer and it fits nicely on an airplane toilet. And then I have this collapsible liner that can go in it to make a small potty. So sometimes a newly potty trained child is more comfortable using a small little potty instead of the big toilet. So it's great to have this along for travel. In the and this again is waterproof. So when we get to our destination, I can throw this in the washing machine. <laughs> Outside pocket, I have one disposable bag that can be used to line the potty. And I have a couple pre-folds that I could use to line it to soak up any pee. And then we were using those when we were using cloth diapers so we could wash those together. Another option instead of putting a potty in here is you could fit a 13 inch laptop but be aware that there's no padding in this pocket. It fits, but you probably want to use a laptop sleeve. And I forgot to mention this. I carry a bag for putting the carrier in. So when I take off the baby carrier, I can put it in this and then put this under the airplane seat. The other great thing about this bag is once it's empty, you can really fold it down. So it's not going to take up a lot of space wherever you're staying. Or if you did want to pack it away in a suitcase, it's really compact. This weekend your bag is pricey, but it's well worth it. Being that it's high quality, made in the USA, and it has all of the features I need. I'll go ahead and show you the couple different ways I can wear this and how I can pull it on my suitcase as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe for more packing tips. And also every Sunday we upload family travel vlogs. Aloha!